I'm not really sure about this. It would be the first time I've ever truly haunted someone. I'm not sure what to do or what to say. I mean, I've been practicing a lot with you, but I'm still so worried. What happens if I'm unable to subdue them with hypnosis? They can just get up and be near us. Ugh. The thought of a human touching us with their soft hands and weird ears getting close to us. Ugh. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. What happens if I panic or freeze up? They'd just be staring at me the entire time. Their eyes are so different from ours. The whites of their eyes. I guess it can be kind of cute, but I don't think it's for me. <laughs> I don't think that we're here to date the humans, darling. No. May you please focus on what we're here for. You need training, and you need it now. Thus human is perfect. As they've responded very successfully to previous night visits. They also forget the interaction thanks to being susceptible to hypnosis. All you have to do is trigger their adrenaline, and I'll extract it no problem. Remember your training, and we'll get through this just fine. Now. If I wake them up, are you ready? You'll be completely on your own. They aren't even going to notice I'm here, okay? <laughs> now, take a deep breath. I'll wake them up. Three. Awaken, vile scum. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Your mere presence is an insult to me, but I need you. I need you to listen to my every word. You want to be good, right? And behave for me? Do as I say and you shall be unharmed. However, if you dare disregard my words, well, let's just say this won't go as painless as I had hoped. Just lie still. You can do that for me, right? Let's just pretend this is all one big nightmare, huh? We need to talk. It's about what you can offer me, what you can do for me. Can you feel yourself drifting? You're getting further into the void. Deeper and deeper you go, down the circles of slumber. Have you ever noticed when you're on the brink of sleep, you can get that, that pleasurable sensation of being on the verge? The event horizon, if you will. Do you know how useful it can be to someone like me? To someone of my kind? You see, you humans and your silly hormones. Oh, so valuable to a night demon like me. Do you like how I look? It's quite different from you, isn't it? Look at the darks of my eyes. So much easier to see at night. It can be pitch black and yet I know exactly where you're hiding. What do you think about my ears as well? I believe you humans have a strange saying to tell your younglings. All the better to hear you with. <laughs> it is quite amusing. Humans and their little remarks. Rhetorics. I am going 
to connect with you. You can hear it now, can't you? It's going to get a little more intense over time, but don't worry. You are still listening to my words, right? Uh, I hope you're near that brink of sleep that I was talking about. Why don't I tell you more of my kind? We have quirks, if you will. Little boons for each individual. I guess the equivalent for you, human, is talent. Except. We just happen to have much better talent. See, humans can be naturally gifted in terms of taking an interest in the arts or body control like a good sports player. But night demons, <laughs> we can specialize in, say, hypnosis or telepathy. Or even levitation. Do you see now why you humans are so funny and puny to play with? You're like a little train all for my taking. Humans are always good to me. You'll be good too, right? Can you hear it? Isn't this a nice situation to be in? A caring night demon giving you all her undivided attention. I can touch you if you like. See, I'm just like you, really. I have nails I can move through your hair. Nice, slow motions. Nothing threatening. Don't feel threatened, okay? It's okay to be scared of me. I know I look different. I know my teeth are round and pointed. We eat like you do. We eat meat too. Just I can eat more meat than you. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? I like it raw. The flesh is so nice and warm. <laughs> I hope I'm not making you queasy. <laughs> what else is different from you and I? Hmm. Our organs. I know humans only have one beating heart. We have two. More blood means we can move a lot faster. Hunt down what we need. But you have something, something that's unique and unknown to us. You have a hormone called adrenaline. Do you know what it does, human? <laughs> it binds to your heart. Then before you know it, your heart rate is getting faster. Your blood pressure is increasing. The air passage in your lungs expands, your pupils enlarge, helping you bring in more light to see movement. There's more blood rushing to your muscles so you can be physically superior to your threat. Do you see how that could be useful to someone like me? We don't produce anything like this. So you little humans, that are so easy to scare, to freak out, to worry. You make it for us. You are making it for me right now. <laughs> if you listen closely, you can hear it. The blood pumping around your head. That's right. There's another night demon here. Just how many are in hiding? How many are ready to pounce on you? <laughs> We're not human. We promise.
promise we won't harm you if you give us exactly what we want. You're doing so well so far. You're on that perfect balance of being on the peak. Stay there. You're doing great. <laughs> Just don't think of anything. Just listen to my voice now. See how it's a little different. <laughs> You humans are so fascinating. You know that? I've visited many in the past, and I always end up coming back to you. You always are so timid. Maybe it's just in your nature to be. I don't think we look that threatening now. Hmm? I hope you've been looking after yourself. I check up on you a lot. It sounds strange, possibly. To make you forget when I visit. It's as simple as that. I can't let you spread rumors of another race running amok in your realm. I'll explain it to you every time. <laughs> Ah, your eyes are always so curious and full of wonder. I guess you have lots of questions for me, and I'm never truly able to satisfy you in a time like this. You're doing really well right now. No, you might feel insignificant at the moment. However, in my 900 years visiting your realm, I've never met anybody who was important before. I just grow curiouser and curiouser of you. You seem to be doing well for yourself at least. But each time I see you, you look tired. You need to rest more. I can perk you up with something special at the end of the session. <laughs> Human. Can I trust you on your own if we go? I think we've got all that we can from you. Look how much you've been of use to me again. You never disappoint. It's time to rest though, so I'll say my goodbye. <laughs> Nada, my human, shall you forget and enter a restful slumber? <laughs> you never did tell me you had such a history with that human. You almost looked like you were visiting an old friend. I didn't expect you to talk, but not that it truly matters in the moment. They can't be good when I was learning. <laughs> They're curious, frightened, and skittish at first, but they were always receptive. There's something about that human. I can't seem to keep away, but not just beyond them being useful for adrenaline. Hmm. I did get a good feeling from them as well. How rather strange. Hmm. If you think too hard, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking about quirks and stuff for humans. What happens if one could be receptive, or a perfect fit for our realm? But I know, I sound silly. Forget it. Let's head back, shall we? Why 